こんばんは。皆さんこんばんは。<笑> Welcome to Poland k o n o m i s Garden. Poland k o n o m i s Garden へようこそ。It's a、uh, beautiful Patagonian day, which means it's probably going to rain.、Uh, the temperature outside is about 9 degrees centigrade. Inside, we're a very comfortable 25 degrees. We've got the, the, the fire going. We usually put the fire on in the morning for a Uh, at least an hour, uh, hour and a half, and then that half warms the house up. 今日のパタゴニアは雨模様で、外はちょっと寒いんですね。だいたい9度ぐらいです。で、キャビンの中は、えー、薪ストーブを炊いているので、暖かく、えー、23度ぐらい、えー。1時間前ぐらいに、あのー、ストーブの火を入れました。We're going to、um, tell you today about how we came here and why we're here. えー、今日はどうして私たちがパタゴニアに来たのか、えー、ということをお話ししたいと思います。Our journey here basically started when we got married because when we got married, I, I said to Konomi, I'm going to find you the most beautiful place in the world with forests and, and fresh water and fresh air, far away from, <laughs> from the maddening crowd. We're going to live as much as possible in amid nature. えー、まず私たちが結婚したときにあの、ポールが私に言ってくれたのは、えー、森があって、空気がきれいで、水が澄んでいるところで、えー、世界のなん、うん、なんていうのかな、えー、人混みというかあの、えー、ちょっとクレイジーな感じの世界から離れた、えーえー、リモートな場所に、えーこっちを見つけてあげるよというふうにあの言ってくれたんですね。And I thought of all of the places I've been to in the world, all of the beautiful places, all of the beautiful things that I've seen.、Um, but there's always some reason why I would not want to live in these places. で、あの今まで自分が行ったいろんなところ、美しい場所もたくさんあったので、そういうところを思い浮かべてみたんですけど、どこもその私たちが住む理想の場所とは思えなかったんです。And in the end, we decided、uh, after leaving Japan, we went over to Europe, we went to Britain, and I was thinking, oh, maybe we'll go right up to the top of Scotland. It's nice and lonely up there and, and very beautiful. So, the UK and 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 the UK But after a while in Britain, we decided that it was, it was not for us. <laughs> and then we,、uh, we took off to Mexico and we rented a house in Mexico up in the mountains. We really enjoyed the place, loved the place. でもあのイギリスに行ってみるとやっぱりそれは違うなっていう気がしたのであの今度はメキシコに住みましたメキシコの,あの山の中のすごくあの自然の美しい場所に住みました。It was up in the mountains. We had a, you know, several hectares of land. It was three kilometers from the closest village and the closest people.、Um, but every time we went into the city center of Oaxaca, which was about 40 or 50 kilometers away, we would、um, encounter revolutionaries. And as it happens, they were all very friendly. They were in the plaza for six months. They'd taken over the plaza.、Uh, and we never had any problem with the actual people who were having a revolution at the time and had taken over the city. であのおはかしメキシコのおはかしの郊外にあの山の中に、えー、お家を借りて住んでたんですけれども、まあ、広い土地があって、果樹園なんかもあって、でもそのおはか、20キロぐらい離れたおはかの土地にし市内に、市の中心地に行くと、えー、革命が起こっていて、えーえーえー、なんていうんですかね、抗議,抗議行動、抗議行動している人たちがたくさんいて、またそれを抑圧する軍隊なんかもいたんですね。But then one day we went into the city center and there were 8,000 soldiers in there with the shields and the helmets and it looked anything but safe. で、ある時にその町の中心に行くと、8,000 人の兵隊たちがいて、えー、まあとても安全な場所とは思えなかったんです。So I began to look around, where, we, where could we go to from here? Because I didn't like the idea that a revolution could literally come charging through our house at any time. That's one thing about Mexico, you know, people will always say it's, a, it's in a permanent state of revolution. So, I'm going to say that 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 I'm 
so we um, decided to look elsewhere and I began to look on the internet and I I found a place where they were uh, a site where they were selling land and um, and it was in Chilean Patagonia and I'd always thought of Patagonia as being Argentina and and I'd never been down there um, but found that you know the most what well, we think the most beautiful part was on the Chilean side which is uh, it's a very long narrow strip of of South America but in that strip of Patagonia Chilean Patagonia is great nature so I found というのを見つけて、ま、そこで土地を売っているあ、人たちが、ま、場所があると。で、あの、うん、パタゴニアっていうと僕はそのアルゼンチンをいいアルゼンチンのパタゴニアっていうのはよく知ってたんですけども、え
we had to travel through a place called La Hunter. The bus would always, we'd have to get loads of buses, several buses each trip. And so we would have to stay overnight in La Hunter. And immediately we got to know people and they were so friendly that every time we came through the village, we would go and you know meet them again and have lunch with them. And they were just so welcoming that um, one day uh, uh, one of our friends, you know, said, have you found any property yet? で、その、えっ、ー、と、北橋の旅の間に、何回も何回もそう、バスに乗って、まあ、車がなも持ってないので、バスで行き来してたんですけども、その、えー、途中で泊まる、必ずバスを乗り換えるために何日か泊まらなくちゃいけないラフンタっていう村があって、その村に、まあ、何回も、こう、訪れている間にですね、友達ができて、あの、親しくなって、すごくみんな、こう、えー、オープンで、あの、人懐っこい人たちなので、で、それで何回か、うん村に来ている間にみんなに、えー、もうどっち見つかったのまだ見つからないのとか聞かれるようになったんですね。We said, no, we looked at loads of properties, but there's, there's always been something that's, that's just, you know, not right about them.、Uh, sometimes they're 500 hectares, you know, ridiculous size like that. And, you know, it's, it's, it's been quite difficult. And he said, well, have you thought about land here in La Hunter? So I said, we'd love to live here. It's beautiful. So he said, well, Why don't you get on the radio? If you get on the radio and ask, you know, I'll translate,、uh, uh, then maybe people will come up with land and you'll be able to see some around here. So, I said, 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 I 言ったら、まあ、じゃあ、あのー、コミュニティラジオがあるから、ラジオに出てみよう。ラジオで、そっち探してるっていうことを言ってみようっていう、提案してくれたんですね。So we got on the radio,、uh, explained we were looking for land, and within a few hours, we had all sorts of offers for land. And the very first place, the first person we saw, Took us to a couple of kilometers、uh, outside, a couple of kilometers outside of the hunter, took us to this piece of land. And the moment we stepped on it and we saw, well, we didn't need to see the view because we knew the view was, was magnificent. As it happens, it was cloudy that day. But the moment we realized the view we would have, then it took less than a minute to decide. I just said to Konomi, let's get it. She said yes. We offered the guy a price. And he said yes, and that was it. The radio にあの出て、えー、出たらですね、次の日にたくさんの人があの土地を売ってるよというふうに来て、えー、キャビンに来てくれて、その中に、えー、ラフンターから2キロぐらい離れたところに土地を持ってる人がいたんですね。で、あ、じゃあそこを見に行ってみよう。で、えー、その土地がまあ 1, 1ヘクタールぐらいだったんで、そこへ見に行ってみようって言ってきて、でまあ、丘の上だったんですけど、丘の上に上がって、まあ、景色を見たら、もうそれでいっぺんに、あ、この景色があるこの土地だったら、えーもうこれを買おうっていうふうに決めて、まあ、迷わず買うことに決めました。And that was in 2007. And this land is、uh, um, on the Caratera Austral, which is a thousand kilometer highway, which is known as the most beautiful highway in South America. で、えー、それが2007年だったんですね。で、この土地は、えー、アウストラル街道って言って、南アメリカ、えー、南アメリカ大陸で一番美しい、えー、ハイウェイ。And at that time, it was virtually all just gravel. It was a tiny gravel road, and that was the main highway. It still is. <laughs> so that was 2007, and then we went away, we walked through China,、um, and then came back in 2000, late 2009 to begin. Building our house. So, we have to do this. 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 We have to do t Into a surface that looked pretty well like a pool table. 
でその時、その当時はですね、私たちが買った土地っていうのは、あのー、羊とか、うん、牛が放牧されていたので、えー、動物がそ草を全部食べてですね、で、えー、まるでそのビリヤードのテーブルみたいに、えー、だったんですね。Yeah, it was, it was chewed by, it was, it was chewed by,、um, sheep and, and cattle. Yes. 牛,牛とか羊に食べられていたんです。I'm just clicking through here, showing you some of the, of the beautiful scenes here that are right in our neighborhood. And there we are. That's me, 2010, standing in the same place, more or less the same place where we have our cabin. でこれが2010年の写真なんですけども、今この家があるあたりに立っている写真です。So it had been chewed for years by sheep and cattle. It used to be forests, of course. And、um, yeah, there's the sheep. <laughs> so, eh, and of course, it was very badly eroded. So, what we did in 2010, the first thing we did was to fence it off, fence it off to keep off the cattle and the sheep. でまずしたことはあのフェンスを作って、えー、土地を囲ったんですね、動物が入ってこないように。And then, once we were able to keep off the sheep, we began to, to build our house and more or less at the same time be, began the planting of trees. で、それと同時に木を植え始めました。Now we moved to 2018 and this is after planting 1200 native trees, local trees. でこれが2018年の同じ、えー、ところを映したんですけども、えー、1200本、えー、現地の、えー現,えー、現地、原生種の木を植えました。The trees were all gifts from the、uh, local forestry department and we probably got about 30 species. で、えー、木は、えー地元の林業局からの、えー、から無料でもらいました。えー、30種類ぐらい植えました。We also planted around about a hundred fruit trees, apples, pears, plums.100、えー、本ぐらいフルーツの木も植えました。リンゴとか、うん、梨とか。We planted them in the form of a forest, which means basically we didn't have any sort of、uh, exact plan. We planted them close together,、uh, just like you would find in a forest, and we kind of we, we didn't say plant this particular tree here, we've got to think about this tree here. We just planted them in any sort of way this type of tree here, this type of tree there, this type of tree there, without any thought. えー、特にその、えー、プランニングのいうというふうにはせずに、えー、いろんな木を混ぜこぜに、まあ、自然の森に近い形で、えー、になるように植えました。Without any thought as to the location, but what, what, there was a couple of things in our mind. To the south, which, is,、uh, which we don't get the sun from the south, the sun's in the north, to the south we planted the tallest trees because we have a big valley and in wintertime an ice cold wind comes up well, more or less directly from Antarctica. So the big trees, we planted all the big trees towards the south. The, uh... ただ何点か気をつけたことがあって、南側はまあ南極からその冷たい風が吹いてくるので、南側には大きくなる木を植えて、まあ風よけにっていうふうにあの考えました。And the smaller trees and bushes we planted in the center so that we could look out the window all the time. And see the view without the trees growing in, in front of the view. で、えー、小さな木、あまり大きくならない木というのは反対側に植えて、まあ、家から見たときにもあの家のうんうん、家から見る、窓から見る景色をこうさ遮られないようにというふうに考えました。And now we, I estimate we probably got close to maybe 17,1800 trees because a lot of trees have come back naturally and then there's a Hundreds of bushes, beautiful bushes, bushes with flowers on, really incredible,、uh, um, beautiful things that the hummingbirds love. で、えー、今大体、うん、その植えた木の他に、えー、自然に、えー、戻ってきたというか生えてきた木がたくさんあるので、まあ、1800本ぐらい
。えー、で、えー、ハミングバード、えー、ハミングバード、あ日本語で何て言ったっけ、えー、ハミングバード。<笑>ハミングバード<笑>日本語で忘れちゃった。<笑>えっと、鳥、ちっちゃな鳥、えー、がやってきます。いや、いや、いや、クノミカン、remember the Japanese word for the hummingbird. <笑> but, but these trees came back, the 1200 we planted, they encouraged the other ones to come back through natural regeneration. And then what I did was I created paths out of the erosions. There was places of erosion caused by the cattle, so I, uh, uh, I dug out paths, and, and one particular path is the natural regeneration trail, where we just left that to see what grew, grew up naturally. And this すごくこう、えー、崩れていたので、それを利用して、それを、えー、遊歩道みたいにして、えー、掘っていって、で、その周りに木を植えて、えー、森林再生の道っていうふうにしました。And this is the house. で、これが建てた家ですね。We、ハウスバックで建てました。ああ、いや、We began building in、uh, 2010. It's made of、uh, earth bags that is basically Bags filled with, filled with earth. でこれは2010年に建て始めたんですけれども、えーまあ、この、えー、袋,、うん、袋に、えー、ポリプリプルの袋に土を入れて、で簡単にあの土,の土のにして積んでいくシステムです。And basically, we have, a, we have a good mix of earth here. We, we, we dug the foundations of the land and then There's, there's probably about 15 to 20 percent clay naturally in the soil, so we mixed it, we, we just mixed that all together very well with the soil that was there, and then we, we stuffed it in the bags. And then, you, as you can see, you lay the bags like bricks, and then we lay、uh, a row or two rows of barbed wire all the way around in, on each row, and that gives us tensile strength. And it, it, it's, so it's virtually impossible to push, well, it isn't, you know, you, you won't be able to push it over unless you've got a bulldozer. でこれは袋に土を詰めて、えーまあ、20% ぐらいの粘土が、まあ、土地私たちの土地にあったのでそれを詰めていってで、えー、ブリックのように、えー、レンガのように積んでいくとものすごく頑丈なんですねでブルドーザーで押しても、まあ、取れあのなん、ね、崩れないという、えー、方式ですね。The, the window,、uh, which of course is the... Covered by the yellow sheet in the photograph. The window was the first thing I designed of the house. I stood there with Konomi and I said, Konomi, this is where the window's going to go, right here, because of the view. And then, so around the space, <laughs> the, the imagined space of the window, we actually came to the design of the house and built it from there. <laughs> 黄色の,あのビニールがかかっているのは窓なんですけども、その窓をまずは一番最初に位置を決めて、えー、よし、ここの、えー、窓から見える景色、ここから、うん、見える景色を決めて、そこから窓の位置を決めて家を作りました。And we did not put any insulation inside the house. What we did was we insulated the earth around the house to around about three or four meters. We put insulation. Uh, and, uh, and plastic. And the idea of, the, of that was the plastic would, and the, would take, when it rained, would take all of the water away from the house. So beneath the house, all around the house, the earth is dry. The technique to stay, a year no mawari, a year no mawari, ni, kono, tsuchi no mawari, ni, tsuchi no tokoro, ni, vinyl, toka, eh, hapo, shiro, shite, eh, year no chika, eh, 地の下ですね。そこを、えー、断熱材を敷いて、えー、暖かくするっていうテクニックを使います。まず、もう一緒に。Yeah, I'm going. Yes, I am. Yeah. You're going into so deep. Yeah. And then we covered it with with earth. で、その後から土を持っていって、最後に、えー、and turf. 
、えー、草で、えー、草のブロックで、えー、積んでいって、えー、このようにします。This keeps the house very warm when, in, when it's minus five outside in winter. Inside, without the fire in the morning, it's around about 12 degrees. That's a 17 degree, 70 degree difference in temperature, which means we use very little firewood. で、こういう、このたくさんの断熱材が土の断熱材、それから地下があったかいっていうので、えー、薪,薪,の使う薪を使う量がすごく少ないんですね。外が、えー、例えば5度ぐらいの時に家の中は12度、17度ぐらいの差があります。And this is the view that we have through the window. We are, we are at the confluence of two rivers, and that's Millimoyo Volcano. That's Millimoyo in the morning. It's usually Misty in the morning, and it's very beautiful. Sometimes we, we, it seems like we're floating. There's only us in the world, and we're floating on a sea of mist. Sunset. Beautiful sunset. The uh, ah yes, right now the, we are powering this broadcast um, by solar. It's the only power we have. We have no connection to any of electricity other than those solar panels, and they are not big. There's only 350 watts of solar. で、えー、今これをライブ配信しているのがこのソーラーパネルなんですけども。えー、私たちは電気はすべてソーラーでやっています。えー、350ワットで、えー、小さい、えー、システムです。We use very little power because all of our energy is 12 volts. で、どうしてそんなちっちゃなパワーで,で、えー、賄えるのかというと、あのー、うん、12ボルト、12ボルトを使ってるからなんですね。So we don't need to, to use an inverter to bring power down, down from 220. Which uses a lot of energy. で普通の家庭の電気っていうのはチリの場合は220ボルトなんですけども220ボルトを使うと、えー、12ボルトで、えー、充電したソーラーパラソーラーで充電したものを220まで上げなくちゃいけなくてそれにすごくあのインバーターっていうのを使うんですけどそれでそれにすごくエネルギーを使うので12ボルトそのまま、えー、直流で使ってるんですうんつまり、えー、車とセーマスビーク車と同じですね。車と同じ、RV とかと同じシステムです。Yeah. All the water that lands on the roof gets channeled invisibly through the grass and the plastic sheets that we have underneath through the grass、uh, all the way into the ponds. で、えー、水はどうしてるかっていうと、水、まあ、雨水はすべて、えー、貯水池に食べるようにしてますね。いっぱい家を、あのー、池を作って、えー、で、えー、屋根から、えー、屋根に、まあ、落ちた雨がですね、えー、貯水池に溜まるようにしています。We have no、uh, running water on our land. It's on our neighbor's land as a small stream. Uh, for about seven months of the year, we have water there, but for the summertime, we do not get rain, so we、uh, collect water from our roofs and we have actually built、um, around 20 ponds on our land to water the gardens. で、えっと、飲み水はあの隣の、隣の、何て隣の土地に、えー、小川があって湧き水を。えー、使ってるんですけども、まあ、そこは、えー、1年のうちに5ヶ月ぐらいその水は枯れてしまうんですね。で、7ヶ月は水があるんですけども、まあ、それは貯めて、タンクに貯めて飲料水にしていて、で、雨水はすべ、えー、て貯水池に貯めています。で、雨水は、えー、貯水池は20カ所ぐらい作りました。The ponds are virtually filled with rainwater, and in, in wintertime, we can top them up from the stream if necessary. And we use gravity, we have pipes at the bottom of the higher ones, and then we can use gravity to water the gardens below. で、えーとまあ、丘の上にあるので、えー、だんだん畑みたいにして、えー、家を池を、えー、高低差があるところに作っているので、えー、池の底に
一番下のところにパイプを入れて、そのパイプを下げると、まあ、重力で水が落ちるようになっています。So first we, we began with the house and then we,、um, we built a sunroom because it was, you know, it was pretty cold immediately on opening the door. So we built a sunroom and then over the years we added a kitchen and pantry, conservatory and plant nursery and then connected it to the greenhouse. で、最初に建てた家がこの真ん中にある家ですけれども、えー、で、えー、サンルームというのをそこに、まあ、増築して、えー、太陽の光が入るようにですね、プラスチックの透明の屋根をつけて、太陽の光がそこに入って、まあ、家が温まるように、で、だんだん、えー、キッチンを、えー、作って、それから、えー、コンサーバトリー、えーうん、日本語でなんていうのかな。温室,温室っていうんですかね、あの苗を作ったり、えーはえー、な苗をあの育てたりするところで、えー、一番,一番南が右側が、えー、グリーンハウスです。This is inside the conservatory looking towards the greenhouse.One of the benefits of this is that in the winter time, the greenhouse gets warm. And then, because it's slightly lower than the house, the heat rises, and then it helps to warm our house as well as,、uh, as, as the kitchen and the conservatory. でこれが、えー、コンサーバトリーといって、あのー、温室ですね。で、ここで苗を作ったりして、で、その向こう側に見えるのが、えー、グリーンハウスで、そこで実際に野菜を植えて、野菜を育てているのは、その向こう側のグリーンハウス。This is a picture from the greenhouse, probably taken a couple of years ago, but it'll give you an idea of, the, of, you know, of, of how well things in there grow. で、これが、えー、そのキッチンに直接つながっているグリーンハウスですね。It's a Wallapini style greenhouse. We built it in 2011. We have a, a, an, an urban wall uh, uh, on one side.、Um, That's, up, that's probably a meter and a half, and then what happens is, is the sun eats up the, eats up the wall, which increases the temperature in the winter, which means we can grow things in here all year round, and we can grow plants in the summer that have previously not been grown in Patagonia before. でこの、えー、グリーンハウスは割りピニスタイルといって、えーえー、と土、まあ、半地下になっているというんですかね、半地下になっていて、えー、土の壁があって、この右側にはあるのは土の壁なんですけれども、その土の壁が、えー、熱を吸収して、えー、温室を暖かく、まあ、保ってくれるので、えー、このパタゴニアでなかなか育たないものも、えー、育つというシステムです。And you can see we have a, a... A walkway that's slightly lower. The idea of that is then the beds is that it's easier to work on the beds. You don't have to bend down so far, but also the cold air falls into the, into this space, which helps to keep the garden beds warmer. で、この真ん中の通路なんですけど、真ん中の通路を低くしたのは、えーえー、冷たい空気が下に沈む、えー、というのと、それからまあ、えー、腰の位置に、えぇ、ー、苗、えー、ベッド、日本語でなんていうのかな、えーまあ、畑,畑というかその、えー、野菜を植える場所があるので、えー、下にこうかがまなくて済むということで作りました。We liked the design so much and we were able to grow so many things that I decided to build a bigger one.、Uh, and as it happens, the local agricultural department we were giving out grants and they visited me one day and said, Paul, why don't you join us? We can give you money for a project. And so I said, Sure, can, we, can I build this? And they said, Yes. And then within a month, we had the money and、um, I started to build a new Wallapini. で、えー、これはあた、うん、もう一つ新しく、えー、作ったバレピニなんですけれども、まあ、これも半地下の、えー、グリーンハウスで、で、えー、もう地元の農業局の人たちがある日来て、ポール、あのー、政府から、えーえー、資金が出るから、えー、何か作らないかと、うん、まあ、あのー、なんていうんですかね、小さなその小規模の農家の人たちを応援する資金、ファンディングがあるので、えー、何か作りませんかと言われて、じゃあこれを作りたいと、もっと大きなワラピニを作りたいというので、それは、えー、農業局から資金をもらって作りました。I come up with a new idea and we created huge、uh, ponds inside. In, in, 
inside the wallapini inside the greenhouse and the idea here is that as it gets warm it the, the water rises into the air and helps to give moisture to all of the plants and also in the winter time it acts as thermal mass to to keep the the, the greenhouse warm で、このドクチョは、あの、貯水池、え、タンクを水のタンクをグリーンハウスの中に作ったっていうところで、この水が蒸発するとですね、その湿度の、え、湿度をその水が蒸発するので、湿度と温度を一定に保ってくれるというメ
。で、えー、今30週ぐらい渡り鳥が来たり、えー、いろんな、えー、植物が生えて、で、自然と、まあ、共生する暮らしをできるようになりました。So, we were going to show a video,、um, but I can't find what happened to it, and it might be a bit complicated trying to find it.、Uh, so, we'll have to miss out on that experience.、Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a brand new program for us, so it's all, it's all new. It's the, this is only the third time we've done it. Hopefully, we're getting kind of used to it. <laughs> yes. I'm going to show you a video of the video. I'm going to show you a video. ライブビデオ始めたばっかりなので、ちょっと、えー、うまくいかなかったんですが、まあ、これからも、えー、これからもですね、こんな風にライブビデオやっていきたいと思います。で、今、えー、見ている方、何か質問があったり、えー、したら、ね、ぜひチャット、チャットに、の方に書き込んでみてください。So, briefly we went through what we've done,、yes. we have done here. And then, yes,、um, so our gardens are terraced. We have built ponds, the ponds feed the terraces. All the rain that falls on the land, all the rain we collect in one way or another. And the footpaths are made in such a way to channel water into the terraces. So, in the summertime, there, when it comes to being warm. We at least have been able to store water in the ground over the winter and spring during the, from, the, from the winter and spring rains. So, this is a very important thing to do. So, the water is all about the water. It is all about the water. It is all about the water. It is all about the w a t e に、えー、降った雨も、えー、畑にこう、えー、誘導していたりして、えー、水を貯めるっていうのを大切にしていますね。So we've noticed the、uh, climate change. Yes, yes, yeah. That was one of the main reasons why we came down here. I've traveled around the planet all of my life. I, my first job was being at sea. And one thing I know is, is, is it, Is about weather patterns. I spent years at sea and having walked around the planet, and I be began to get very concerned decades ago about climate change. It didn't really have that name back then, but that's, that's that's been as long as I've been thinking about this, and it's why we came here because I because I realized that it's going to get warmer, and in a place like this, as close to the Antarctic or some place where there's glaciers, is it's the best, and we've got beautiful forest. So, water is the most important thing in our life, and that's essentially why we're here because we are surrounded by temperate rainforest. We live in a temperate rainforest. So, the Mamotomoto, so no, Kono, Patagonia, Kita, you, no, Naka, Niwa, eh, Yapari, Kiko, Hendo, Ga, eh, Okote, Ru, Tiyo, Koto, Ga, Te, Maji, Mo, Paul, Ra, Zutto, so no, eh, 商船に、イギリスの商船に乗ったり、こう、海で仕事をしていたので、まあ、その気候がどんどんどんどん変わっているっていうのも何十年も前から気がついてたんですね。で、そ,その、そのために、まあ、パタゴニアに来てなぜかというと、ここは、えー、熱帯雨林に囲まれていて、熱帯雨林っていうのは、まあ、雨を作る、水を作る場所なので、それでここに、まあ、来たということがあります。でも、And when we first came here, I often joked to Konomi, oh, we're probably going to be serving the last ice cube because we've got glaciers all around here, thank heaven. The first time we came here, we were going to be serving the last ice cube because we've got glaciers all around here, thank heaven. The first time we came here, we were going to be serving the last ice cube because we've got glaciers all around here. So that the, the glacier is melting, we notice. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. So the hyogaga toke t e r t e n o m Yes, the glaciers are definitely melting. People who have lived here will all tell you,、um, well, there's one particular glacier which is absolutely magnificent, but it used to stretch all the way down to the field. Now it's about 25 kilometers away. This is in the last 30 or 40 years. So 
it's definitely happening and in our time here we can verify that so dakara sono ただ、私たちがここにいる when we first came here, we used to have water for about eight months of the year. And now, you know, now it can even get down to, to seven or maybe even six and a half months. It's, it's changed that, that much. There's a valley not too far from here where we used to go into, into the forest, and the forest, it was always wet. It was always wet. Even in the summer, you were wading through mud. And in 2018, I happened to go into this forest again, and it was dry. It's dry because a lot of, in, in this region, people have been taking out the peat, the peat moss, and and that have been has been absorbing the water and this has dried it up so the forests are drier now than they than they were just a few years ago the patagonia no mori mo え、and gradually we've seen less snow on the mountains in winter and less rainfall over the course of the year and an increase in temperature fortunately this year kind of returned back to what it was when we first came 10 years ago but i do believe it's it's only a temporary change <coughs> So, yes, I'm concerned about climate change. I'm not, I'm, he, I'm not so much concerned about where we are, um, because we, we are close to Antarctica. Our, our, our concern would be, of course, forest fires, but we never really had them here because it's, it is wet still. で、ま、それですごく心配してますね。で、ま、ここはまだ、え、コース量が多かったり、その、地味地味してるので、それほど森林火災っていうのは心配ないですけども、森林火災もこれから起こると思う。But yeah, so this is something that that we that we that we even see here and something that is very, very, very real. Now we have a comment comment section here, so if people would like to ask questions, I'd like to answer the questions because we, we have a permaculture farm here, we grow things, we do things that are you know that, that uh, um, well we are now supplying virtually all of our our food from our land でもし何か質問があったらあのチャットの方に書いてくださいでえあ私たちパーマカルチャーでまあえ畑をやっていてほとんどの野菜は今自給していますあの、we um we make a lot of well we 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 do not buy processed food we have um because we are not connected to any water system or any electricity system, we are also not connected to any refuse system. So all of the all of the stuff that has ever come on our land stays on our land. 
We do not send it off to a garbage dump. We take care of it. And when we take care of rubbish, when you take care of your rubbish, you realize how much you get. And then instantly you begin to make that go down it's because we if you if you get it on your land you've got to do something with it so you become very very aware of of rubbish that you're buying uh, uh and bringing home で、え、で、I think in our entire 10 years here, I think we probably produced a maximum, maybe a month, of normal people's garbage, garbage in a city. <laughs> We use everything. We use everything. <laughs> Can you get the ball? Oh. Yeah, we'll just show you one little practical thing It's uh, uh, that we do, you know, because we do buy things and every now and again you, you can't help but get plastic, you know, it's it, everything comes wrapped in it and people come around and, you know, they bring bottles like this. We never use these, but we have friends come and then they bring drinks and, and then we end up with their bottles. And so what we do is we stuff them with whatever little plastic chocolate wrappers or whatever. We stuff them inside here, and then we've used them like bricks in the wall, especially down in the guest cabins. プラスチックのゴミ、え、ここに入ってるのは何なのかな。例えばスパゲッティの袋とかですね、そういうのをま、入れて、どうしても出てしまうゴミを入れて、で、これをえ、キャビンのえ、断熱材として、キャビンの中
they, we have loads every year. We get new insects every year. We get new birds. We've got around about 30, over 30, well over 30 species of birds. Um, and many of them come back. And, 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 and now because the trees are bigger, they're starting to create nests. And now we're getting to see the young as well. そう、あと、あの、池を作ったら、えー、すぐにもうカエルがやってきて、で、野生のカエルが住み始めて、まあ、カエルが、えー、蚊の、えー、幼虫というのか、えー、もう食べるので、あ、ボーフラか、ボーフラを食べるので、蚊がいなくなったんですね。それはすごく良かった。うん、メリットでした。あとはトンボが、あの、池があるからトンボが来たり、で、えー、あとは、その、渡り鳥の種類がどんどんどんどん増えていったり、それがすごい楽しかった。Yeah. And the, um... The trees now supply us with the material for compost and for mulch, the leaves. Before we would, we had none of that. We had to just use grass. Now the grass has been replaced by leaves. We have mountains of leaves we can use. So we don't use any, have to use any, you know, um, animal fertilizer. Mm. So, so, so. And, uh... mm. あとはその森がどんどん大きくなって、えー、落ち葉がたくさん手に入るよ、手に入るっていうか、えー、落ち葉がたくさん落ちるようになったので、その落ち葉をマルチにしたり、えー、肥料に、えー、不要度を作ったりしてですね、えー、その動物の糞を肥料として使わなくてよくなったんですね。全部植物、全部この土地で採れるもので野菜を作れるようになりました。And you know, it's the most wonderful thing, getting your hands in the earth. I planted trees all over the place, but coming here and doing the amount of digging I've been doing, building all these ponds, building paths, always digging, it's, it's, it makes me feel incredibly happy. I see it as a form of meditation. I don't often get stressed here, but if I do, I just go outside and start digging for a few moments, and that's it. I'm totally relaxed. うん、仕事をするっていうことはすごくその精神的にもいいし、えー、土を掘ったりするのもその瞑想みたいにメディテーションみたいになるし、えー、ちょっとこう、えー、気持ちがあのなんていうのかなざわざわしたら外に行って、えー、土を触る土と一緒に仕事をするっていうのすごく、えー、落ち着くということに気がつきました。うん、And I think people often think that、uh, um, farming is hard work. And it can be, you know, you're out there laboring and stuff, but it's very good work.、Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, you feel tired, but you feel rich. You feel, re- you feel rich, you feel relaxed.、Mm-hmm. It's,、uh, um, and I mean, you know, for us, I mentioned work, but in reality, it's not work for us, it's, it's, it's pleasure.、Mm-hmm. まあ、その、さ、あけ仕事をするとかいうのは重労働だって思うかもしれないけれども、でもまあ、楽しい。楽しいので、私たちにとっては仕事っていうふうには思えなくて、えー、まあ、好きだからやってるっていう感じですね。And another thing is I noticed is less is more. あと私が、私が気がついたのは、もう私は日本から来てるから、<笑>ラフンタに来た時にも物がないっていうのがもうびっくりして、家を作る時もそうだし、えー、なんであれがない、これがない、なんで買えないのかって思ってたけれども、その物がないっていうことはすごく今は感謝していて、物がないから自分たちで全部作ったんですね。家具もつ、まあ家も作ったけど、家具も作ったし、えー、それから、えー、物がないから私は今手作りでパスタ作ったり、うどん作ったり、パンも焼くし、えー、そういうチャンスをもらったものがないということで。で、ものがなければ買えばいいって思ってたけど、そうじゃなくて、えー、買うためには仕事してお金稼がなくちゃいけない。でも、買わなくていい、えー、作ればいいっていうことになると、その何かをた食べるために働くっていうことをしなくてもよくなるし、だからその、うん、ものがない状況が、あの、すごく私たちを豊かにしてくれたって今は思うんですね。So the, the rest is more what I was,、uh, what I said was,、uh, because we didn't have anything,、uh, a lot of things we couldn't buy here to construct the house or the food we wanted to eat. So we become very creative.、Um, uh, now I,、um, now I make pasta, bread, I make ramen and udon. I make everything because we don't have it here. And all, all, also, you made furniture. Well, we made a house because <laughs> we made an entire house and the furniture. <laughs> and then that was very good. And then that, 
that uh, that taught me normally we people work to eat to pay rent but if you can create something very low cost you don't have to work so much and then we just we can we can be rich and then less materials yes yeah yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i was just noticing what konomi had written down here problems don't exist only solutions yes yeah and yeah and that's true that's basically you know our, our philosophy that mm -hmm. I, I really you know don't like going on about problems because it's so negative energy you know so when things happen here we just find a solution and we're always building here and from day one i always said step by step mm -hmm. that's how we do it mm -hmm just mm -hmm. step by step mm -hmm. it's not a matter of thinking what we're going to be doing in a year it's a matter of thinking about what we're going to be doing today so problem doesn't exist only solutions the problem is the でも問題なのはこれが大変でこれができなくてって問題を考えちゃうんだけどもそうじゃなくてそこにある状況はあってそれをどう解決するかで何ができるかっていうふうに常にポールを考えていてそれも私はすごいポールからあの学んだことですね
、仕事のために生きるんじゃなくて、会社のために生きるんじゃなくて、自分が本当に何をしたいのかっていうことを考える時間がたくさんあると思う。そうするとそこでだんだんクリエイティブになっていって、で、あとは、そのコーポレーション、協力っていうのはすごい大事で、あの、私たちここで自給自足の生活をするっていうふうに、まあやってきたんだけども、最終的に気がついたのは、私たち二人だけで、あの、自給自足して二人だけで生きられるわけではないということ。で、もっといい方法なのは、コミュニティの中で友達とみんなでつながって、コミュニティの中で自給自足なるべくしていく、助け合っていくっていうのがベストだなっていうふうに気がついてきていて、だから最後に言ったコミュニティっていうのはすごく大事で、今すごくこの不安の中で、うん怖かったり、先行きが見えなかったり、どうしたらいいのか分からなかったりの中で、支えていけるのはやっぱり友達だったり、コミュニティだったり、同じビジョンを持っている人たちだったり、で、なんかそれがこれからこの、えー、今の、その、不安先行き見えない時代、そのこのそうコロナ騒動が終わった後に、うん、私たちが行く方向,方向っていうのは、やっぱりクリエイティブとコーポレーションコミュニティだった。And on the subject of community, I'll give you an idea.、Um, we live in a small community. There are only 2,000 people in La Junta. We are five hours away from the municipal center of our community, our commune. We are five or six hours, sometimes days away from a bank. There's no banks for 300 kilometers. There's、uh, no hospital. No, so, so we live in a, yeah, in a small community. And because of the harsh environment,、um, or sometimes harsh environment, this community is very strong. And that's very important. You don't have to create an intentional community.、Um, it's just, it, I always think of it as an unintentional community. You just have very, very good friends,、um, close by, if possible, and then you all work together for a common goal. That's, we created something called the Austral Garden Route, and the idea of this is to create a local economy and bring money to the people who, who really need it. So, I think that the Rafunta Murat is the most important thing in the world. 銀行があったり、その、えー、する大都市まで 5, 5時間ぐらい、えー、車で行かなくちゃいけなくて、すごく離れてるんですよね。でも、僻地だからこそ、その人のつながりがすごく団結力が強くて、で、ここにはもともとそういうつな、うん、がりの強いコミュニティがあって、で、その中にまあ私たちも入っているので、まあ、その、意図的に、えー、コミュニティを作る、どこかにこう作って、っていうわけではなくて、その大事なのは今住んでいるところでその友達をつながりを作ったり、で、その助け合いのネットワークを作ったり、えー、そういうことだが大事だと思う。And the reason we're creating a local economy too is vitally important, and it's, 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 it's because of climate change too. Because it's important to have food security and a local economy. Because if you have a strong local economy, you don't have to be importing things from other countries thousands of miles away. You're going to save a lot of energy. A local economy is vital in, if we want to combat, mitigate climate change. それで、その、えー、ローカル、地元の、地元の経済、ローカルエコノミーというのを作るために、アーストラルガーデンルートっていう、えー、プロジェクトを立ち上げて、サイトを作ったんですけども、地元の友達たち。で、なんで地元の、地元の中で、こう、経済を回すのがなんで大切かっていうと、えー、そ、そうすることで、えー、輸出輸入、そのグラ、グローバリゼーションに頼らなくて済むということ。で、えー、の、危機があった時に、その、まあ、気候変動の、えー、原因になっているのも、えー、そのグローバリゼーションのものすごく物流がもう世界中でこう動いちゃうっていう、えー、ことなの原因になっているんですけども、もうそれを減らすということもあるし、えー、もっと地元の、えー、抵抗力というか、えー、何かその危機が起きた時に、えー、生き抜いていける、えー、地元の力っていうのを地元でこう作っていくっていう意味もありますね。So one of the best things you can do to help prevent climate change. Is to support your local farmer. Buy local produce. Buy things locally produced. Support your neighbors. And then this way, 
You don't have to bring things halfway around the planet, destroying it. This is a very, very, very simple thing to do. When you go to the store, seek out what is made locally. You will help people around you and you will benefit the planet immensely. で大事なことは、えー、地元で、地産地消、地元で作られたものをなるべく買うことですよね。何かあの選,選ぶときも、えー、地元、あるいは国産のものを買う。それがすごく大事。で、それがあの気候変動をあの和らげていくことにもなります。Mm -hmm. So I think everybody well, in Japan is close to the night. Maybe they have to go to bed. Japanese <laughs> 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 so Thank you, Maru. It's good to see you. And, uh, Kotoyo, Kotoyo. Hello. Hello. Konnichiwa, k o n b a n w a And then our friend, Mamiko. Mamiko. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I suppose that yeah, the, the, everybody will be about ready to go to bed. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. So, I hope that we've been able to answer some of the questions that you may have had.、Um, mm -hmm. And then we'll be doing more of these, I guess. And yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll try and find out what sort of subjects people want to talk、mm -hmm. about and, we'll, mm -hmm. and we can focus on them.、Mm -hmm. This is largely just an introduction.、Mm -hmm. So, this is the first time we have a live session in the live chat. So, this is the first time we have a live session in the live chat. So, this is the first time we have a 今日はちょっとイントロダクションということで、これからもどんなテーマで、えー、私たちに話をしてほしいとか、あのー、あったらどんどんコメント欄に書いたり、まあ、Facebook でぜひ、あのーえー、私たちに知らせてください。で、できるだけなんかいろんなことを、あの、これから日本の人、皆さんとシェアしていきたいと思うので、まあ、日本だけじゃなくて、えー、バイリンガルでやるので、世界中で、もうそうなんですけども、あのいろんなことをシェアしていきたいと思うし、もっとあのライブチャットでいろんな、えー、皆さんとのチャットで、えー、なんていうのかな、リアルタイムにあのチャットもしていけたらなって思います。And if you've enjoyed this and you want to see more,、um, please click the subscribe button. We very, very much appreciate that. あそうですねで。ぜひあのチャンネル登録もしてください。もしあのサムズアップとチャンネル登録したのこの辺あこっちかこっちかこっちか<笑>チャンネル登録ジャンメアスマルジやサムウェルいやいやいやいやいやいやサムウェルダウンエルズサブスクライブインアンデンアンデンピッダーピッダーボタンアンアンファンキューバリモッチフォーチューニンインアンウォーシーユーネクストイムいや参加皆さんの参加ありがとうございましたじゃあまた次回までさようならまた会いましょうおやすみなさい<笑>